Hey guys, we are going to do the homework video for 5-4. Now we had fun today with our spaghetti and hopefully you picked up on each of the theorems and that you did the lesson checks, okay? So, um, and you answered the discussion question and uploaded the video for uh, to show me an example of a triangle that worked and one that didn't work. So let's look at these homework problems. It says 13, construct arguments, fill in the missing reason for the proof of theorem 5, 9. Hint, the comparison property of inequality states that if A and B, if A is equal to B plus C, so let's plug in a, a number that makes sense. So like if A is 5 and B and C are 2 and 3, then notice you know that C, this number has to be, it's right, these are sides of triangles. C, this number has to be greater than zero. And this number has to be, um, this number five has to be greater than two, right? And so this is another property that we can use. So let's use that element to, to break this out. So given that a, 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 B is longer than A, C. So A, B is longer. I'm going to go with a little skinnier pencil. Is longer than A, C. Okay, then A, C. So here's A, C. So that one's shorter. And that's given... Also, given that AC is congruent to AM, so this is equal, okay? So, they started with that, and that's given. Then they said angle 1 is equal to angle 2. That's the isosceles triangle theorem, right? Two equal sides, two equal angles. If we fold here at the line of symmetry, that would make this angle fold right on top of that one, okay? Now they're saying... What is, if the measurement of angle ACB is equal to angle 2 plus 3? That's just our regular angle addition. I could add two angles together if they're side by side. This angle plus in, this angle should equal the whole angle. That's regular angle addition. All right, I'm just adding angles, right? One angle plus another angle. Now they're saying this is greater than the measurement of angle two. So notice, just like we said a minute ago, since this one's on the right and it would have to be equal to that, that's this comparison property of inequality. All right, and then they're also saying this angle would be greater than angle one and let's see, we know that we were given that angle one is equal to angle two. So they've just substituted one in for the other. So I'm just going to call that substitution. All right. Now they're saying the angle one is equal to angle B plus angle three exterior angle theorem. Okay. So, oh, we've had that before. This angle, um, Angle one is the exterior angle. So these are my two remote, right? The two, the two angles, exterior angles are equal to the remote angle. And that's our exterior angle theorem. So we're okay there. Now it looks like they're saying, oh, same theorem. That's this composition property of inequality. We're almost there. Same thing with that one. This is that same um, composition property of inequality. And we got there. And so that's what this theorem says. So now let's do an error analysis, okay? That's kind of cool. 
Let's break down an, an error a student may have made. So it says a student said that a triangle with sides of three and four, okay, so three, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, could have a third side of seven. Well, we know that's false. That's our number line. So we, we use that as our example. A side of a three and a side of a four would end up going splat. It wouldn't be able to create a number line. It would just lay flat so it couldn't make a triangle. And the reason why is that the third side of a triangle, the formula we did today, has to be between the difference of the two sides and the sum of the two sides. So if the two sides are three and four, if we add the two, we get seven. If we subtract the two, we get one. So the third side has to stay between one and seven. Here it's at seven, so I can't make a triangle. 16. So on 16, it states error analysis again. What new mistake did they make? Tia says angle Q must be the largest angle. So let's break this down. Oh, they're comparing different sides here. Okay, so let's convert 1.7 meters is equal to 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So meters would cancel and I get my answer in centimeters. So how many centimeters is that? So that would be 170 centimeters. Okay, ah, so this has to be the biggest angle. Angle R is the biggest angle. Because it's opposite the longest side. And it looks pretty obvious why they made a mistake. They didn't convert. Okay. So it actually should look like this. 170 is the biggest. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do 18 through 21. So we look at 18 through 21. And we'll be looking at 33 through 36. So I'm just going to highlight those here really quick. 33 through 36, okay? Looking at our picture, so this is like our example two. Looking at our picture, which angle is smallest? Okay, so this is the smallest side, the medium, and the longest. So this has to be the biggest angle G. And this is the smallest side, so this would have to be the smallest angle. Identify the sides NOP. Okay, so we know all of these angles have to add up to 180. So um, when we subtract 60, we get 120. When we subtract 66, we get 54. Okay, so we know this angle is 54, right? And now we know, okay, this has to be the shortest. All right, this one has to be medium. And this one has to be the longest because it's opposite the biggest. So which one is the longest side? I could call this side little n because it's opposite angle n, or I could call it OP, or I could call it PO. Any of these would be fine. What is the shortest side? So that would be side. It's opposite angle O. So I could put opposite side little o. Or I could call that side NP or PN. Any of those would be correct. Nice. All right, let's look at 33 through 36. Makes sense and persevere. A dog is running an agility course, has a difficult making turns. The sharper the angle, the more difficult. Which corner is the mo most difficult? So the tightest turn would be the smallest angle. So the smallest angle is the tightest turn. How do I know? Well, you know, I drive a car, right? And if I turn 
make a left-hand turn, that's 90 degrees. If I had to make a really tight left-hand turn, then that um, angle is something less than 90 degrees. So maybe that would be 30 degrees. I'd have to really turn my steering wheel to make a tight turn like that. Um, so which one is the smallest angle? Let's take a look. This is the smallest, medium, and longest. So this is going to be my biggest angle, my medium angle. So this is going to be my tightest angle. Angle B is the tightest corner. And that will make it the most difficult for her to turn. Right? I have to directly answer the question given, which corner is the most difficult? Angle B is the tightest, most difficult for her to turn. Nice. Okay, three more. 34 says assessment practice. So what would it maybe look like on a test? The length of two sides of a triangle are 13 and 20. So we've got a 13 and we have a 20. Okay, so this looks like our formula. So I want to subtract the two sides and I want to add the two sides. Right, so the third side, what range of values do it would need? Really any value between there. Any value between seven and 33, but just not seven and not 33. So I guess 14 would work. So that's just an example. Okay, number 35 states, SAT, ACT, looking at here, so let's fill in this angle, right? And then subtract 52. 64. Okay, so I'm going to just add these up just to be safe, right? I don't want to get anything wrong. So 5, 6, 7 would be 8. Okay, we're good there. And so, oh, interesting. These sides are actually equal. So this is the smallest side. And we could think of this as these are both medium or both, I don't know, they're just the same. So it's kind of like some of the students in our class are, um, one, of, one of the students, they're, um, they had twins in their family. So maybe they're the youngest and their older siblings are twins. They're the same age. So which statement is false? Okay. Is TS equal to TR? Is TS equal to TR? Yes, because 64 is equal to 64. Is um, STR? STR. Is this angle 52 less than this angle 64? Yes, that's true. So that's true. That's true. Is TR greater than SR? So is TR greater than SR? That's true, right? This one's smaller. So that's true. Is TS less than SR? Is TS less than SR? Oh, no, no, that's no. So I'm going to vote for that. And now I'm going to just double check. Would the two sides have to be less than SR? So would the TS, would the medium plus the medium have to be smaller than, uh, or bigger than, excuse me, the smaller one. And that should be true as well. So, has to be bigger than the smaller side. Yeah, that's true. All right, last one. Performance task. Tio designed a skateboard ramp. Okay, that's pretty neat. List the sides of the ramp in order from shortest to longest. So what are the sides of the ramp? So I'm already thinking this is a side of the ramp. This is a side of the ramp. And that's a side of the ramp. So my sides are MN, NQ, and QR. 
and I need to list them shortest to longest. So I may have to kind of rearrange these, right? Shortest to longest until I, um, I've got that figured out. Okay. So let's see. This is take this one triangle in it triangle at a time. That's small, right? That's 18. And so that's 180 minus 90. So that's 90. And then minus 18, we get 72. 72. Okay, so this one's going to be small. This one's going to be medium, right? And this one's going to be the longest side. Um, now, this angle is going to have to be six as well, right? And now this one's 10. So this is interesting. So if that's 10 feet, um, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. Uh, and so we kind of know this one has to be longer. And then this, this distance we don't really know, but it definitely looks the longest. So I'm going to call NQ the longest. And then definitely QR has to be um, shorter because this angle is, is not as tight, right? And then, wait, wait, wait. I, I got to do shortest to longest. All right, so that's, that won't work. Then I, then I need this side M in and then QR, right? That's my shortest. Oh, wait, it says of ramp A. Okay, duh. Okay, that's why that was so hard for me. So I'm just talking about this triangle. Yeah, so that'd be 72 and that's 90, right? And I just have to list these sides. Yeah, so 18 is the smallest angle. So NP is the shortest side. And then MP is opposite the 72. So that's medium. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So that's MN. Okay, that's better. Those are the sides of ramp A. Now it says ramp part B. List the angles of ramp B from smallest to largest. All right. So this was a rectangle. So this has got to be six feet. Um... So list my angles. Well, I know this is 90, and I know this has to be, these two numbers have to be something less than 90. So actually, technically, I don't know for sure. It looks like QS could be equal to SR, but those together have to be shorter than QR. So because of that, as far as angles, I know angle Q could be equal to angle R because that could be a 45-45, right? But I know it's less than, those have to be smaller than the right angle, angle S. All right, so list them smallest to largest. I'm kind of listing them. I know these are smaller than those. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time.